Today we'll go over two methods you can use as an advanced beginner to open up an auto shop with no license. Stick to the end to find out where the hot deals are to start this journey. You don't want to miss this. Are you filming me? Huh? With my consent? This is public, buddy. Automotive for beginners. So who is this option for? If you've been working on cars for the past two years and no one is hiring you, these two methods we cover today may be a feasible solution. This is assuming you've already got a decent selection of tools and you've done a lot of basic mechanical repairs. This is a list of repairs you should have done at least a few times before continuing. And you have a driveway or garage to work in. Who is this option not for? If you don't meet the requirements I just mentioned, I highly suggest you pass on this idea and click off. Get more experience working on cars for at least two years before deciding to go this route. Also having all the tools and equipment ready but no driveway or garage to work in will prove difficult to sustain. Working in an apartment parking lot once in a while to do your own car repair is one thing. Opening up shop in the parking lot is another. This is not for you. Keep learning until you get an opportunity. If that's all settled, let's continue. The two methods you have of opening up shop are doing fix and flip auction vehicles and buying bulk oil and providing oil changes. So for fix and flip auction vehicles, this is feasible in most states in the United States. According to ATI, it's noted that it isn't a requirement to become ASC certified to open up your own shop. That means you could go to a public auction, buy a vehicle dirt cheap, and fix and sell the vehicle for a tidy profit with no one to hold you back. I'll show you how you can buy auction vehicles starting with bids as low as $100. And we're talking seized vehicles here, not salvage. As far as Canada goes, only some provinces can engage in auction fix and flips with no license. British Columbia, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, Newfoundland, and Labrador, the Yukon, the Northwest Territories, and Nunavut. Mechanics in these provinces are not required to obtain licenses to open up shop they can engage in fix and flips. This however excludes Alberta, Ontario, Quebec, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, and Prince Edward Island from opening up shops and engaging in fix and flips without a journeyman license. These excluded provinces will have to take the regulated route for now. But as far as everyone else, which is about 70% of the rest of North America, Anybody can do auction fix and flips. All you need is a phone to record video, a scan tool, and a plan to stick to your bids. Use a scan tool to determine whether any repairs needed are mechanical or electrical. Stick to mechanical repairs such as the list mentioned at the beginning of this video and avoid electric repairs such as no starts. This will increase your chances to fix vehicles with relative ease. Doing one fix and flip a month could average around $2,000 a month in profit for you. Not too bad to start out with no license. The second option you have is you could buy motor oil in bulk and offer to change oil. You would even be able to compete with loop shops in your local area like Jiffy Loop, 
and still make a nice profit. For instance, I called Jiffy Lube recently in Brooklyn, New York, and I found out they charge $46.99 for conventional oil and $86.99 for synthetic oil. You could buy synthetic oil in a case of one drum and charge $75 to do synthetic oil changes. You'd be competing with better prices and quality oil. You can make about $1,500 profit after you sold out one drum. Or if you're starting out with less money, you could buy five gallon tubs starting up. You profit about $150 going the five gallon route, but maybe you do 15 gallons a month. That's $450 going the cheaper route. You can rinse and repeat as much or little as you like. Then add to the fact you can do one fix and flip per month and you're looking at bringing in $3,500 a month with the oil drum option or $2,450 going with the 15 gallon top option. So there you go, two ways you can open up shop without a license. Once you start doing well, you can decide to continue what you're doing if you so choose, or you could be ready to approach an employer to step up your game to the next level, working towards diagnostics. But at least you won't be completely out of options if there's no work available right now. Check out the links below to get access to all the hookups to open up your business. If you want me to go into detail on how I got these numbers, let me know. If I get enough requests in, I'll make another video showing you how these numbers worked out. Share this video, subscribe and like. This is Automotive for Beginners and we'll see you in the next one.